All right, so we're at the den site here on uh, Taxon's Road. It looks like we've got Intima here. We've got, uh, it looks like Spirit as well. That's small. I, I can't think it's Spirit. It's very small, but it might be. And, uh, we've got uh, Gangarika, another female. A whole lot. And we've got a little cub coming out of the, the little den site now. Oh, that's, of course, Intima's youngster. Come, come on. How's that little one, eh? <coughs> Almost did like a woo, but he did this like the little, like the the cub call. Wee, wee. <laughs> that was so cute. <laughs> oh, Bundabash, it is a special sighting. What? How beautiful. I'm so happy that they're here this morning. Absolutely stoked. And this little one is just, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm talking about a little one with energy. Well, yeah, it is. And this uh, team of youngsters got so much energy this morning. Something must be coming here. Oh, yeah, comes another hyena coming in here. Yeah. We're going to see a lot of greeting now. It might be, looks like to me, we can't see, I just see very slightly, it might be in Debele or, uh, looks like in Debele that might come. But let's, I'm going to keep quiet because we are going to just listen to the interaction and noises that the hyenas are going to make. Gangarika and, B uh, and Bilu are half sisters. They both come from heart, the mother's heart. Billy's getting really big. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Darcy Miller, for sure. I think uh, the vocalization of uh, hyenas, apparently they've got 12 different uh, um, vocalizations. So it is amazing that you can just sit here and listen to a few of them coming through now. There's even a strange one that was uh, heard now. It's almost like that. It was a very interesting one. How beautiful is this now? Stunning, stunning, stunning. I'm so glad that they're still here. I did come here a little bit earlier on with this uh, female hyena. Uh, I came to the den site, but nobody was home. So it's nice that you see that she's arrived here and uh, the cub is going to get a little bit of milk for the evening. Oh, isn't that so cute? Look. Oh. Mom and youngster. I don't know where Gangarika went. Uh, Gangarika was here this morning for quite some time. <laughs> little one wants to bite mom's foot. How oh, cute. Oh, they're so, so, so sweet. Aren't they so adorable? I love hyenas. I actually really do enjoy coming here and just watching the interaction. And look at mom and young. 
these are some little goslings. Their parents are just to the left there, the Egyptian geese. And let's just watch them for a bit. How sweet is this? So these little goslings, oh look at their little wings, they're still growing, but they are busy pecking on some grass, that is what they're eating, just like mom and dad. And at this age they would already be able to swim we may even see them go into the water. I don't know about you at home, but I count one, two, three, four, and there's a fifth one just on the right hand side that is lying down. <laughs> All right, another quiz. For our viewers, tell me what this is. <laughs> this is a curveball. And I'm probably not going to be able to take too many replies just from a sensitivity perspective. And I'm hoping the, a well, the adults don't photo bomb us because then we'll know exactly what it is. See how it's hiding in the grass. Okay, it's a trick of a certain bird. Check out lying in the grass. Go on. And I do know that this is less than 30 days old because once they are born, the fledgling time is around 30 days. Interesting is their incubation period is also roughly about 30 days. About 60 days from egg laying to fledgling period. Although once they fledge, they do stay in the vicinity of the parents. It's a hand that's a bird that's often on the ground. Very aggressive if you approach their nesting sites. Catherine reckons three-banded plover. You in the right kind of like line there, but unfortunately not a three-banded plover. That thick there comes mum and dad photobomb. <laughs> that should give us an answer there. So these birds used to be called plovers. They're now called lapwings. And Julian Thomas is correct. It is indeed the trick of a crowned lapwing. And obviously once the adults moved into shot, um, it's a very easily recognizable bird.